Ah, so here I am enjoying my new white wall, as you can see behind me. Nice clean white bricks. Uh, it's a nice place to be. Plenty of light coming in this room. The room didn't always look like this. And these bricks didn't always look like this. They used to look like this. So how did I get from those bricks to these new shiny white ones? Let's find out. Okay, so I've got my wall. I filled a couple of holes and um, given it a bit of a clean, but I'm just gonna dust everything off now. So like all painting, you've gotta do your preparation first. Let's start dusting bricks. I'm just using an old varnish brush for this. And in fact, this brush gets into these water crevices beautifully. So I'm just gonna use one of these to paint the mortar. Left hand, ambidextrous. Someone's been here before me and done a little bit of uh, pseudo handyman concreting work and plumbing, I think. That's all right. I got dust in my teeth. All we need now is a bucket of soapy water. No chemicals or anything apparently. From what I understand, just sponge it down. It's important to get some flowing action in the body when you do this. Pretty easy. If the painting was this easy. I'll just wait for this to dry and uh, apply the first coat of undercoat primer, sealer. This stirring stick, I've done a few painting jobs with it in the house and so on, I've kept the same stick and it's built up layers and layers of paint on the end, it's like a club. So the trickiest bit when you're first applying the undercoat, as I found out, is the mortar. Because the bricks in the mortar are all quite porous. So you've really got to jam that paint in. You've really got to uh, hook into it and fill up those holes because this just, the cement, the mortar, the cement just drinks it up. It's like a thirsty man in the desert. It just drinks it up. I'm only giving the bricks an easy go with a brush. I'm going to, obviously I'm going to roll the bricks at the end. So whilst you're applying so much paint to that mortar, you've got to be aware of your drips as well. I'm not going to sweat on the odd drip, but I'll try and catch what I can see. If one gets past me, it gets past me.
my favourite position for painting, but uh, it's got to be done. I've done a pretty good job of this. It's tedious. Sometimes you get in the zone and it's quite meditative. attention those bricks have had in 30 years and they're loving it oh yeah that's the first base coat done let's get marked up here Okay, now for the second coat. Let's go. It's a little bit easier to apply because that first coat did all the soaking up. It's still very easy to see where you've done and where you haven't done. So no problems there. not as comfortable as it looks painting like this. For some reason it puts more pressure on the shoulder. The paintbrush shoulder that is. Or maybe that's just me. Oh man. I'm slapping it on here a bit. <laughs> I just had a short break and I forgot to wash my brush in water. Luckily they're only $3 each. That's the second one I've gone through. So the cheap brushes are becoming an expensive brush. There's no saving it and $3, come on. I've only got this little bit to finish though. Well that's it for today. I'm going to make sure I wash my brush. Okay so I've done my two base coats um, and now I'm going to roll over the top to give it a nice smooth finish. Open up my new rollers. Load that roller up with a bit of paint.
sure this is the way the pros do it, but uh, as long as it gets a result, that's all I'm interested in. quicker than doing it by brush. Okay, so now I'm just with my brush before the final rolling. I'm just painting in these edgy bits where the roller doesn't go. Just so they're covered with the same amount of paint. Once you've got a coat or two already on, the painting is a lot, the paint goes on a lot quicker. Just flows off, doesn't, uh, what you're painting doesn't soak it up as much. It's a massive difference. Massive. Half a brick in, roll or pick up the rest. Lovely. Oops. Leaving well, little uh, trail, snail trails here on the floor. The floor is going to be painted as well. Or maybe I'll just leave it like that and say it's an abstract or something. Just about uh, half a brick's width in. And then I can just glide over easily with the roller. You don't want to wash out your roller or your tray, just wrap them in plastic bags for an hour, two or three or four hours so the air doesn't get to them. When you come back you can use them again. I think you can even do that overnight. I'm not don't quote me on that though. Coats were as easy to put on as that rolling was. Bang, there it is. And this floor's got to be done. Pretty happy with that. <laughs> 